Hi, I'm Pete Mazio, a certified personal trainer at Today Fitness. Two of my passions in life are fitness and handyman stuff. I've always had a habit of looking at something in the store on TV and saying, I can make that. I remember when I was in high school making a lap machine by bolting two garage door pulleys to the joists in my basement and then hanging weights from the cable. It got the job done. Maybe not the safest thing in the world, but it worked. 25 years later, I still have the same habits. There's a multitude of fitness gadgets and gizmos on the market, some of them affordable and very functional, while others are way overpriced and mostly overkill. Advertisers prey on people that think that fitness results are based upon how much money is invested in the equipment. Sure, equipment helps to get the job done, but the results that you achieve come from the effort you put into your workouts. Over the years, I've made quite a few pieces of fitness equipment, mostly because I didn't want to drop a lot of cash to buy the real thing. During these times of economic hardship, I wanted to take this time to provide you with some tips on how you can create some inexpensive yet very functional fitness equipment without breaking the bank. So let's get started. All right, so before we get started with some of the how-to part of the video, let me just give you a little tour about some of the equipment that I've made in the past here. In the front, you see some of the sandbags we made. I got a 25, 50, I got a 75 pounder, I got a 125 pounder, very easy to make. Medicine balls, 10, 15, 20, there's a 25 over there, very easy to make and very inexpensive compared to buying them in the store. Here you have a kettlebell, found these plans online on how to make an adjustable homemade kettlebell. Got some agility hurdles, very good for speed and agility drills. Uh, got some body bars here, suspension straps, this box in the middle which I'm going to be using in my, as my table in a minute is a plyometric jump box that I uh, just finished uh, uh, framing out and I'll be finishing it up shortly. Uh, this is a shin blaster I made, there's an agility ladder in the back and uh, that's about it at this point. Uh, I have a couple other miscellaneous pieces that I've toyed around with that we can go over if I got some time but that's a quick tour of some of the fitness equipment next thing I want to do is show you how to make a homemade medicine ball okay so medicine balls have long been used as a very functional tool for core exercises upper body exercise you can use it for extra resistance on lower body exercises great overall around tool and uh, if you make them yourself, they're very inexpensive. You can find a 25-pound medicine ball in a catalog for probably about $90 nowadays. Uh, if you make a 25-pound ball yourself, this guy cost me about $6 to make. So what we're going to do is start out with a cheap rubberized basketball. Pick up at Walmart for about $4 nowadays. And uh, what you're going to need is some sand. 50 pound bag of sand, which sand is great for making your equipment because you won't find a cheaper price per pound anywhere. Um, 50 pound bag of sand at Home Depot is probably about $3.25. Basketball is about $4. So what you're going to do is take your basketball, get a nice uh, carpenter's knife, and cut a V in it. I like to use the bottom of the ball. cut in the bottom of the ball, take a funnel, another easy item to pick up at a hardware store, put the funnel in your little V, obviously the reason you cut a V is because you don't want to cut the whole ball open because it kind of messes with the stability, so cut a V, put a funnel in it, take your sand, Just start pouring it in. Now, this is going to take a little while, so I'll be right back as soon as we have it filled up. All right, I just finished filling up the ball with sand. It takes a little while, so I wanted to uh, spare you the agony. Uh, once you fill it up, it's always a good idea with the uh, with sand to make sure it's packed down. So bang it a few times, fill it up some more. Bang it a few times, fill it up some more. That gets you to the 25 pounds. It's roughly a 25 pound ball when you fill the ball all the way up with sand. It's actually more difficult to make the, the lighter balls. I have a 15 pounder here. 
and a 20 pounder. Uh, those balls, since you're not filling up completely with sand, what I'll do is take strips of uh, rag and jam them down into the hole with a screwdriver just to kind of give you the, the, the still feeling of the ball, but not as much weight as a 25 pound ball. Uh, the smaller Wilson balls, usually uh, you fill these all the way up and you get about 10 pounds out of it. So a couple different options there for you. Once you finish filling the ball with the sand and you have your little V hole, obviously you don't want to keep that open. So usually run a bead of glue over the hole. Uh, you can use like a crazy glue. Duct tape it shut. And uh, as much as duct tape as you want to use, I like to use a Gorilla Gorilla duct tape. It's actually pretty strong. Cover pretty well. Obviously, if you want to wrap it around more, um, see where it's going to be. But uh, you have a cheap 25 pound medicine ball. So, very functional medicine balls. Like I said, you can do a lot of quarter drills with them. Uh, between that and sandbags, uh, when you're first starting out and you want to know what to get your kid to, to uh, keep them fit and start exercising, medicine balls and sandbags are the cheapest way to go. Alright, so while I'm talking about sand, let me talk to you about one of the easiest pieces of uh, exercise equipment to make, a sandbag. Uh, typically, what I like to do is grab a, a nice, thick uh, trash bag or several of them actually. If you want to make an adjustable sandbag, what you can do is take uh, several different trash bags, put 25 pound increments or 10 pound increments, whatever suits your fitness level, and make multiple bags. And then when once you fill one of the trash bags with sand, then you put them in a nice canvas bag. So I have several different sandbags. Down the front here, I have a 25 pound bag. 50 pound bag. This one is my adjustable bag. This is actually a military duffel bag. What I did was fill up a bunch of different increments. Once you fill up the bag with sand, tie a knot, maybe duct tape it up. The military duffel is good because it's reclosable, so all you do is clip it shut. And then start heaving away. So you get a real good exercise, good workout with sandbags. You can do chest, shoulders, triceps, legs, core, uh, all different muscle groups for resistance training. It also helps work your grip strength and sandbags are great for combat athletes, grapplers, uh, anybody who likes to grab and pull. So uh, sandbags is the next piece of uh, easy to make fitness equipment that you can make with sand. Uh, while I'm still talking about sand, body bars. This is just a piece of PVC pipe. I glued the end caps on, filled them up with sand. So now you have a nice lightweight piece of exercise equipment with just pipe and sand. If you want it to make it a little bit heavier, you could put some rebar in there along with the sand. But uh, again, simple, easy to make piece of fitness equipment.